Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Electron TV. And for today's video, guys, it's about generator, caterpillar. And the problem was, the alarm is analog sensor failure A1. And based here in this engine control unit, analog sensor failure A1. And did not give anything or where exactly this alarm or what kind of alarm we need to check and all of our generators on board is have the same alarm and this generator that I show you here is our emergency generator here is our emergency switchboard now I try to test this emergency generator okay first step number one put this selector switch to harbor or this generator we can use as a auxiliary generator second step this is standby mode we need to off And this number 3, no need. This one is for manual close of our circuit breaker. Manual on. Now I start the generator. Okay now guys, it's running. Now here guys, look in the monitor. There's no jacket water pressure. This jacket water is for cooling system of the engine. And it was not uh, normal. Then I think the analog sensor failure is for the jacket water pressure of the engine. And here guys the jacket water line of the engine here and I think this transmitter it's not working and that's our problem that's why we have analog sensor failure A1. Now guys, I uh, need to test the transmitter if it's broken or maybe they have some other problem. First thing I need to check is the voltage. Okay, now guys, we have 26 DC volts. Second test, we need to check if this transmitter have a milliampere output okay, now guys I need to connect my multimeter into series and put this selector switch in milliamp the positive probe connect to the positive supply line and the negative probe connect to the positive line of the transmitter or positive terminal of the transmitter and the minimum output value that we need is at least 4 milliamp for zero pressure and look my uh, multimeter did not give milliampere output therefore this transmitter is not working or damaged
And now guys, I have here a potentiometer. I use this guys to make a uh, or to produce a 4 to 20 milliampere output. Just and check the monitor if they give or change the pressure value for jacket water pressure. Okay, now guys here I already connect the potentiometer and this potentiometer is act like a transmitter. Okay, connected series. Negative line and the other line go to negative probe of our tester and the positive probe is to the supply line. And look my multi tester we have reading of 4.9 milliamp output and our jacket water pressure now have a value 0 0.37 bar and the alarm is gone and now guys I try to change the resistance value of the potentiometer or I make a higher milliampere output and let's check if the water pressure on the monitor is changed to high pressure value six milliamp 0.75 bar okay guys therefore the analog sensor failure A1 is 100% is the jacket water pressure of the diesel engine and the reason guys that's why I use this potentiometer because I don't have a spare on board of this uh, transmitter If you ask me guys how I use this potentiometer for creating a 4 to 20 milliampere output I have a blog guys about this our auxiliary generator number two caterpillar and the other one same problem analog sensor failure A1 jacket water pressure no reading and generator number one analog sensor failure it's the same all of our generators have the same issue and the problem I don't have a spare on board after a month guys finally I received the transmitter and I replaced all the broken or damaged transmitter of all our generator now it's working no alarm and this our emergency generator 
we use now as a service generator Okay guys, that's it. I hope you learned something in this video. If you are new in my YouTube channel, please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Electon TV. And to all of my subscribers, thank you for your support and watching my video. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and see you in my next vlog.